Quest Diagnostics is pleased to introduce our innovative oral fluid collection system called Oral Ease. The Oral Ease Oral Fluid Collector provides all the advantages of previous collection systems with the added benefit of a sample adequacy window. This window takes the guesswork out of collecting samples and turns blue when the sample quantity is sufficient for processing. Here's how it works. After positively identifying the donor and explaining the testing procedures, ensure that the donor's mouth is empty of any gum, food, or tobacco, and that they have not had anything to eat or drink for at least 10 minutes prior to the collection. Have the donor select an Oral Ease Oral Fluid Collection System and hand it to you so that you can inspect the packaging to check the expiration date and verify that there is no sign of moisture or leakage and that the sample adequacy window is not blue. Peel open the package just far enough for easy removal of the handle of the oral fluid collector by the donor. Instruct the donor to use the handle to remove the device from the package, taking care to not touch the collection pad. If the collection pad is touched or comes in contact with anything other than the donor's mouth, it should be considered contaminated and should not be used for the test. The contaminated device should be discarded and replaced with a new Oral Ease Oral Fluid Collection System. Instruct the donor to place the Oral Ease Oral Fluid Collector into their mouth with the collection pad between the lower cheek and gum. The plastic shield should face the cheek, and the sample adequacy window should face towards the center of the donor's mouth. Now start a 10-minute timer. Once the sample adequacy window turns blue, or after waiting no more than 10 minutes, have the donor remove the oral fluid collector from their mouth. Remove the collection tube from the package and hand it to the donor. Instruct the donor to hold the tube upright, flip open the lid, and guide the pad into the opened tube. With the pad in the oral fluid collection tube, Instruct the donor to place their thumb on the ridges of the oral fluid collector handle and slide the handle forward to detach the pad from the handle and into the tube. Next, have the donor replace the lid on the collection tube and cap tightly. At this point, you need to complete the applicable chain of custody procedures. Properly completing the chain of custody process will help ensure that the sample collected can be tested once it arrives at the laboratory. Simply follow the five steps outlined on the custody and control form. Prior to the specimen collection, you should have verified the donor's information and recorded that information in Step 1. It is important not to forget to indicate the reason for the test, to enter the collection site, and enter your information. The laboratory may need this to contact you with any questions about the specimen. In Step 2 on the form, indicate whether the lab should expect a split or single specimen to accompany this custody and control form. In Step 3, after the oral fluid specimen is collected, remove the tamper evidence seal from the custody and control form and place the circle which reads, place over cap, across the top of the specimen tube and down the sides, making sure the seal adheres tightly to the tube. Once sealed, date the seal and have the donor initial it. Instruct the donor to complete Step 5 by signing and printing their name. Then, complete Step 4 by both signing and printing your name. Now that the form is complete, remove the perforations along either side of the document. Hand the donor copy 5. The top copy, copy 1, is packaged with the oral fluid specimen and shipped to the laboratory. The collection site distributes copies 2 through 4 as appropriate. To prepare the specimen for transportation to the laboratory, fold the laboratory's copy, copy 1 of the custody and control form, so that the barcode and employer information is above the fold and the donor's personal information is below the fold. Next, fold the form in half and then slide the folded paperwork into the larger back pocket of the specimen transportation bag. The barcode needs to face out so it's visible once the bag is closed. Next, slide the sealed tube containing the sample into the smaller front pocket of the bag. At this point, expose the adhesive and seal the bag tightly 
along the striped black line. Once the custody and control form and specimen have been sealed in the specimen transportation bag, the specimen is ready to be shipped to the testing laboratory. Only one specimen and custody and control form should be sealed in each specimen transportation bag, unless a split specimen is being collected. However, numerous transportation bags can be bundled into a single shipping container. After processing the specimen, Quest Diagnostics will report the results to the employer or medical review officer. Oral Ease – No More Guesswork with the Blue Indicator Window no more salty or citric taste, and easy to use. Routine drug testing just got a lot easier with Oral Ease and its blue indicator window from Quest Diagnostics. And easier is better for everyone.